Here's how you properly set internal wastegate preload. And check your wastegate actuator crack pressure. Now the reason you set the preload on the wastegate flapper is so you don't lose any exhaust gases. If it is cracked open, while you are trying to spool up and make boost, if it's leaking by, you're going to make less boost. First up, make sure the flapper is fully closed. And then the rod, you should just be able to barely slip it on, and that is zero preload. If I wiggle the flapper here, you can hear it's got just a little bit of play. Let's break these jam nuts loose. To tighten it and add preload, the clevis is going to thread to the right this way. Generally, two to four millimeters is a safe range to set your preload to. For example, on the TurboSmart wastegator I have, TurboSmart recommends about a two millimeter of preload. When it comes to your wastegate and turbo setup, you might just need to do a little bit of digging to see what the recommended preload is. I did some looking around, I saw some that said five millimeters up to seven millimeters. Some preload is better than no preload though, so two to four millimeters is a safe range. At zero preload, we're gonna check our crack pressure. So I'll hook up the air, turn on the gauge, 18 and a half, 19. You see it started to move right at 19 PSI. Let's do it again. Right at 19 PSI, it starts to crack. Now let's go ahead and set our preload. Let's go ahead and back off the jam nuts. We got our digital calibers here. I'm actually going to pick a safe range in between and I'm gonna to set to three millimeters, okay, right there. And then we will back the jam nut to the back side of the caliper. Just like that. I'm actually gonna use this nut to back it up to kind of hold that nut in place, that way it doesn't spin. Now I can turn the clevis to the right and we're gonna keep turning till we bottom out on this jam nut. One, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see, the clevis has now moved this way and you see about half of that pin showing. Now what most people do from here is they pull on the rod and slip it over the pin. I am unable to do that. Now you might be thinking it's only a 20 PSI spring and it should be easy to pull, but that's not the case. Pulling the rod over by hand typically works on most stock internal wastegates. One, because the diaphragm is a smaller radius and the spring in it is usually not as strong. Now there is a little bit of math involved to calculate how much force it takes to open that spring because a 20 PSI spring doesn't just open at 20 pounds of force. Now for my TurboSmart wastegate here, it has a 20 PSI spring in it, but the diameter of the spring is a lot bigger than most. It is about 2.3 inches in diameter. So the math around it, it actually equates to about 137 pounds of force to be able to pull that wastegate actuator arm. I'm not gonna be able to do that pulling by hand with my fingers. Now here's the trick. We're actually gonna use air pressure to move the rod, that way we can slip it over the pin. As we saw before, it started cracking around 19 PSI, so we get right around that range of 20. There we go, and now it has slipped over the pin. You remember in the earlier clip when I tugged on the flapper? Now there's no play at all on this flapper. Let's go ahead and check our crack pressure again. So I got the air hooked up, turn the gauge on, Last time it opened around 19, 19 and a half PSI. Let's see how much it has changed, if at all. 19, the rod hasn't moved. 20, it's moved just a little bit. 19 and a half, 20, it's moved just a little bit. And now our crack pressure is about 21 PSI. So it went up one and a half PSI by setting the preload. Let's check full open. So about 32 PSI, it fully opens. To finish it off, let's go ahead and put our E-clip back on the pin. Let me know in the comments down below what type of turbo and wastegate you're running. If this video helped you out and taught you something, do me a favor, drop a like on the video and subscribe for future videos. Y'all have a good one now. Stay boosted. Peace out.